Hi guys, I'm here at the CMA Songwriter Series at the O2 with Natalie Hemby. How are you, Natalie? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. It's nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. It's my first time in London. Yes. And Are you enjoying I'm it already, so far? Oh, I'm so spoiled. That's amazing. So. You've, got, you've got a few of your friends here this weekend. I mean, Little Big Town and I Casey. Some, and I have some friends here. I know, yeah. we're like going to be passing ships, but... Yeah. Um, You're all kind of taking over London this weekend. Oh, it's crazy. London's about me this weekend, not about <laughs> them. They've already been here. No, I'm just kidding. I... I I am so excited to be here. I've always wanted to come to London. I love and appreciate music, culture, everything. Yeah, so, nice. yeah. Obviously, you're taking part in the CMA Songwriter Series tonight. So where, where do you stand at the moment in terms of being a songwriter or an artist? Because obviously you, you released a fantastic album last year. And well, thank you so much for saying that. But uh, you know what? I'm, I'm split 50-50. You know what? I, I still love writing. I love helping people write songs for their record. That gives me a great satisfaction. And part of the reason why is because I'm friends with a lot of these people. So, um, you know, when Casey is like, hey, you want to write a song for the record? I'm like, absolutely. But you know what? A lot of it comes about very naturally, too, when you're friends with them. And that, that is so helpful. And that's only that can only really happen is, is if you live in Nashville. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did it feel like a, a weight off your shoulders when you released your album? Because it kind of... It was, you oh. stepping into the spotlight, wasn't it, and not being the person behind the song anymore, but it was, I am Natalie Hemby, and this is me. Yes, it's nerve-wracking because, you know what, um, you know, it's so easy to write a song for somebody else because you know what they need more than they do. But when it's your own songs, it's a little nerve-wracking, but it came from a very honest place, and I, I, I literally was like, I'm just going to put this out, and if it might not get any response, and that's okay. It, it's going to be what it is. But it got great response, and that was even better, but... Um, the gratifying thing is, is you get to play and record it the way you want it, yeah. you know? So that, that, and my husband, he played all the instruments, played all the music for it, and sang all the backgrounds. And so it was like, we literally kept it, like, in the family. Yeah. Well, <laughs> critics all around the world loved it. I mean, people over here absolutely loved it. And in the States, it went down really well. So is that something you want to do more of in the future and maybe work on more of your own stuff? Absolutely, yeah. I, I, I... Because I am an artist deep down. I wanted to be a, a big artist. I wanted to do rock music back when Alanis Morissette was on the radio. But the dawning of the Britney Spears era came and, you know, reality TV changed a lot of things. And, like, rock radio kind of died off. And so, in a way, I was able to do the Sheryl Crow fun rock thing with country music and put my stamp on it that way you know what I mean so over the years you've been a part of so many country music classics for me like the songs you've written have been the soundtrack to my life over the last few oh, years that means so much um, to me so is there I was asking this to Nicole earlier is there, is there a moment that really stands out for you songwriting wise that you'll look back on for the rest of your life and say that was a magic moment um, I've had I've had a few um, I got to write with my hero I do love Sheryl Crow I'm in he, I, her first three records, I listened to him so much that I almost, like, I almost had to stop listening to him because I, I was sounding too much like her. But <clears throat> excuse me. Anyways, uh, we wrote a song together for her. It was her country record that she's making, but it was a very heartfelt song. It was called "Stay at Home Mother," and we both were like crying while we we're writing the song, and it just turned out to be a beautiful song that I was. And I got to write. They say don't meet your heroes, but sometimes it's really good to meet them. Um, she's a an amazing person so I'm glad I met her <laughs> do you write songs with specific artists in mind when you're teaming up with other songwriters absolutely you know um, I mean Karen and I we have the same sort of voice register from Little Big Town and so sometimes I'm like oh my god Karen would sound amazing on this or you know or um, even like Marin has an unbelievable range and she she can do more of the pop sexy thing and I I can mimic that. <laughs> Maybe not so great. Um, no, but you know what? I absolutely write different songs and be like, wow, Miranda would love this song. You know, if it's ballsy and gutsy and you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we, d we all do it, but it doesn't mean it'll make the record. But we shoot for it. <laughs> and we're here at C2C Festival this weekend. Are you going to be able to stick around and see much of the performances and kind of immerse yourself in the festival? You know what? I'm the only reason why I'm not is because I'm gonna immerse myself in London tomorrow. Because yes. I've never been here, and <laughs> I want to walk every street in this city, which I know is impossible. But I've seen all these people 500 times, yeah. so. <laughs> so. You're just gonna be a tourist tomorrow. I'm be a tourist Enjoy tomorrow. yourself. Yes.
We're on that slate. I want to come back and write someday. Yeah, that would be awesome. Well, you're always welcome here. We love having you in London. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time. I know this is really like tight schedule at the moment. No, so no, we'll, uh, it was awesome. We'll uh, hopefully see you again very, very soon. I, I hope so. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah.